In this video, I'm going to go over setting up free web hosting with triple zero webhost.com. Uh, please don't complain uh, about this service. It's free in life. You know, you typically get what you pay for. The reason we're doing it this way is so that everyone can be set up on the same platform and um, the lessons in class will apply more to it. After you get going on this project, if you're an advanced user and you want to use your own hosting as long as you can meet all the objectives of the process check that's fine but go ahead and definitely start out with me on this um, you can only set up one account per day on triple zero host at least last time I checked um, so if you make a mistake in setting up your account or and you know give them the wrong email information or something and you never get that confirmation email you're probably gonna have to wait a day to try again uh, if we do this in class Sometimes only the first student on the network gets in because then triple zero hosting thinks that they're going to be hacked. So they're very paranoid. When you give away something for free, you get all kinds of crazies coming in there trying to hack into the system and so on. So they're super, super picky about how often they'll let you enter your credentials if you get something wrong and they'll lock you out for the full day. So plan accordingly. Try to do everything that has to do with this project a couple days ahead of time so that if you do get locked out, you've got an error of or a, a time factor for the error to reset itself. When you're working from home or in the library, you typically have less problems. Um, if you still have problems on the first process check, you know, write down in detail or take a screenshot to share with me as to what happened. But if it's just your first try, and you waited till the last minute, I probably won't be able to do much for you, but if you can show me that you've been trying for a while, um, then I can probably give you partial credit for the first process check. Um, and just a reminder, if you're doing this in the classroom or, or on a library, don't leave yourself logged in to any web host because someone can come in right behind you and put up nude pictures, for example, on your website and you know get you into trouble with your audience. At first, I'm not even going to show their website because by the time you watch this video, they may have overhauled it completely. So you just have to understand the basics here. You go to triple zero webhost.com, you click on the free subscription service, whatever it takes you to get there. Now, they're going to try to get you to buy it and, and set the defaults at the one that, that's going to ask you for money. So you have to go in there with your eyes open and make sure that by the end, you're clicked on the free uh, web hosting and then also a free domain or really a subdomain because it'll have their title in it as well if you're not willing to pay extra money but at this point I would say don't don't spend any money until you're super familiar with what you're doing just get done what you need to for the class for right now um, okay so let's go ahead I'm gonna try it with the current version again please keep in mind that this will look totally different by the time you're watching this video. So I'm just going to start by typing in three zeros and my browser remembered this. And see they have this little thing that they do now. Uh, this is kind of new for me where they check your browser first to make sure you're probably not a known hacker or something like that. Uh, but anyway, look on this page for free web hosting. Looks like it's here at this current time. But as soon as we go in there and see how they have all their different plans and they automatically select you for one that you'd have to pay for. But just go to the free web hosting, click select, and then fill in the information here. Now another thing, I entered in a very um, you know, popular email system in my area and it told me that it wouldn't use that. It said use a reputable one <laughs> like uh, Gmail. So I'm going to do this with a Gmail account. And just so I don't have to share my personal information like the email address and the password with you, just know that you're going to enter your, your email a password, make sure you meet their criteria, and then click sign up. And I'll bring you in next as to what happens right after I click sign up. Okay, so after I push the button, it looks like it's just doing some thinking. Um, and this may just be sort of stuck, but uh, I noticed in the email account, um, there's already the verification email so that's an important step is check the email address that you gave them there'll be an email in there that somehow some way asks you to verify your account 
And again, this exact process could change, but it spun around here for a little while and then gave me a button here that says, get started. It brought me to a page asking me what I want to do. I'm gonna select create web design, but what we don't wanna do is design the site right here. So I'll let you know what happens in this current version when I click that. It asked me what I was selling and I just, uh, I think I hit other and anyway, eventually I got here. I think they're just trying to help you with the look of your website, but again, we're not using them for that. Um, and then they're letting you know that they work best with Chrome. So if you don't already have Chrome, download. You just may want to keep that in mind. Um, and if you don't have Chrome, maybe, uh, and you are having problems, maybe you want to try downloading Chrome. So anyway, um, then you can name your project and start writing this stuff down because eventually um, things are going to become very important for you to remember, um, especially the password that you use. The main thing that you want to walk away from this website with is your URL, which is your web address, like you know Amazon.com, that's their URL. Um, your username, that would be whatever you put into the system there, and your password. So these are things that you need to manage because I won't be able to help you with these. Like if you lost your password, for example, you could probably log into triple zero hosting like most services and say, I forgot my password and they'd send you a temporary password to help you get back in. But just good record keeping will help. Here's some new stuff, which is nice. Okay, so they used to not give you this choice to upload your site. So that's what we want to do. But just know that you have these because you may, um, especially this one, recognize later on in our class. But anyway, we're going to go just to the simplest, uh, most basic way of setting up a site. All right, as frustrating as the problems we experience, it's good that I'm experiencing one while you're watching. Login details are not correct. I, I already am set, I'm setting up a new site, so why would my login details not be correct? Have they asked me for a username and a, and a password? Yes, but a username yet? No. So let's see if I can figure this out. What's going wrong here? All right, that may have just been because I've you know had so many different sites with them in the past, but um, what I had to do to get past it was for the username, I put in that name a while back that said it was optional. So in my case, it was web class 05. I put that in, re-entered the password that I did before, and then it brought me into this page. And this is the page that we want to see here. The public HTML, this is going to be the folder that we use to upload our information onto this site. But basically, at this point, your website is set up. So congratulations to me, anyway. I guess I won't know till I go back and watch this video, but I could have swore where I entered in Web Class 05 seemed very insignificant. Um, but that is actually the address of my website. So you may experience, like if you put, if your name is uh, John Smith and you put in uh, John Smith, you're, you know, hoping that your website's going to be a real simple name like that, it may not be a go. Um, so I know from past experience that their website address looks something like this, um, basically starting here. So it would be whatever that name is. So my new one is web class 05, and then it's dot triple zero web host uh, dot, sorry, triple zero web host app dot com. So write this down, replace this part with whatever you're able to come up with. And then um, if you punch that in to a browser, right there in detail, um, you should come to a page that looks like this. Now, don't worry about setting up the website yet. We're going to get to that very soon. If you want to get crazy and experiment away, what I would say is go ahead. You've got this set up. Leave this set up. Remember all your credentials, but go ahead and set up another account. You may not be able to do, do it today, but if you wait 24 hours, probably you'll be able to set up another one, and then you can experiment around in here. Um, you know, make a file in um, Dreamweaver and drag and drop it into public HTML. Just make sure you name it index, and, and that should become your home page. We're going to work a totally different way, though. We are going to, for this project and for this class, we're always going to try to log in to this area, if you will, through Dreamweaver. So it makes it a much more intuitive process. 
But if you ever did run into a problem where Dreamweaver just wasn't connecting with here, you can actually just drag and drop files uh, inside of here. Uh, last time I tried to do that, you did have to create the folders in here. It wouldn't allow you to upload an entire folder. So it can be kind of cumbersome. But let me just double click on here to show you. Um, this is the main folder that, that we are concerned with. And so if you change the name of this in your head to your local root folder that you make for this project on your computer, the content of that folder that lives locally on your computer and the contents of this folder will be identical. So right now, if I double click on this, open this up, you can see there's this kind of like temporary file in here, which is probably the one that makes us see this when we just click on the, the site right now. Um, also look at what happens here. As you click and go inside, you'll see like a breadcrumb trail. So if you want to get back, like, oh, how do I get back to that view? Just click here and it'll take you back to where we were just a second ago. The most important thing you can do right now is make sure you can get back here. Um, so let's do the scary thing of logging out. Make sure we wrote down all of our credentials and uh, we'll totally close this down. Maybe even uh, close our browser, reopen it and see if we can get back in here. But again, make sure you've got your username, your password and your website URL, your, the name that you chose. So you would just basically to double check that you can do that is trip, uh, enter in triple zero webhost.com should come up with the screen here. Now, instead of getting started, we are going to sign in. I was brought to a, a login screen where I had to enter in my email address. So it's kind of weird. You, you enter in your email address to get inside of triple zero hosting with your password. But then if you're logging in to your site, you're going to use the name of your site. I believe it'll be by itself, like in my case, just um, web class 05, not all the other, you know, WW and the triple dot zero, blah, blah, blah. Um, and the reason for that is you can actually have multiple sites, um, you know, within one login. And you're going to be prompted all the time for the best savings in the world here um, for upgrading, but we don't have to be concerned with that right now. Um, yeah, see how it says my websites. So eventually you could have like two or three websites here. And so it says that it's running. And as long as we can get into here right now, we're good. Uh, and you can see like if you want to manage the website, you would click here. And that's probably going to take us back to that same view we had before with the multiple folders. Nope, not quite yet. Let's see. So it's asking me what I want to do here. But again, we really don't have to worry about this for right now. Let, let me just see if we can get back to that. No, oh, yeah, here it is right in front of my face, file manager. So I'm just going to click in that and there we go. So do your best to never delete these uh, folders here. Again, the, these should stand as is and it's just the inside content that you'll ma be manipulating here. Um, but if everything goes well for you, you'll be doing that inside of Dreamweaver. So at this point, you can go on and start working on the first project, the HTML site. And then uh, in a video later on, I will show you how to do exactly what I've been describing, hooking Dreamweaver into this triple zero hosting and making your site live for the world to see.